Okay, so I've managed to get everything. It's all now in place. So I can actually talk and film and without having to keep doing this. So yeah, I don't know where we were. Yeah, I was saying about how I kind of want to get more into like my blog and stuff. I'm just gonna zoom you in slightly so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, oh, that's really close. Um, anyway, yeah. So I want to try and get a bit more into like my blog and stuff and just try and get a little bit more of like a routine and stuff going. Um, whilst I'm talking about this, I'm just taking the Stila One Step Colour Correct. I'm still not sure whether this is vegan or cruelty free or not. I'm just using it until it runs out because otherwise it'd be quite wasteful. Um, but yeah, I've put a few things, I've put like one blog post up at the moment. Um, just like introducing myself again and getting myself kind of back into the swing of things but I haven't really put I haven't really done much in a while so I'm trying to work out like a routine stuff that I can like schedule and stuff and do around like my university work and stuff I'm just trying to work out the best ways to do stuff because obviously I upload to this channel twice a week and stuff on Mondays and Thursdays so I'm thinking maybe doing like a blog post every Monday or something I'm not like I'm not 100% sure on that yet but hopefully I'll just try and work something out because I want to get back into routine I find my blog was really kind of like a great way of me to kind of like express how I'm feeling I was able to share like the good and bad times with you guys and stuff yeah I'm trying to definitely get into that more so yeah I know still how I feel about this bloody one step corrector thing because I I don't know if it's like a thing where it doesn't really I don't know it def I feel like it definitely evens out my skin but I don't, I'm not really sure I have not planned this through. I just decided this morning, okay, I'm gonna do a quick get ready with me because I haven't actually filmed anything to upload. This will be going up Thursday. So I didn't actually get, um, plan anything to upload that day. So um, but the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation with just a damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna apply that all over the face. This gets so, so messy. I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh, no, that's in front. Come on, camera. My camera hasn't been focusing recently. There, it's so messy. It's so annoying. I hate these pump applicators because I just can't, just can't do anything with it because it just gets so messy. But yeah, I'm just going to be taking a damp beauty blender and putting that all over my skin. I felt like there was such a hype with this foundation. But to be honest, I don't think it's like anything special. I think there's better foundations out there. I'm kind of a bit disappointed, bearing in mind that I had to pay like customs fees and get it shipped over for America and stuff. So I'm kind of a bit disappointed in it. I think I prefer the Ordinary Foundation. I think I prefer their Serum Foundation. Even though I think I bought it a shade too light, this matches my skin tone perfectly. That's the only thing I will say that I love about it. It's just how much it matches my skin tone but i wouldn't say that like it's overly amazing it doesn't really cover my redness so that's kind of disappointing but i'm just trying to use it up i probably won't repurchase it but i think it's kind of good around this time of the year as well because it's kind of slightly a bit moisturizing it leaves you with like that kind of like dewy like dewy finish and stuff so if you like that then you'll probably like this but i just don't get the hype with it but yeah, like I was saying, I'm just trying to get a bit more back into like my blog and stuff. Um, the post I put up the other day was kind of a bit depressing to be fair. Like I kind of was just sat in bed writing it and I kind of was just talking about how I'm kind of struggling at like uni and stuff, both like the social side of it and just like every side of it to be fair. like. I just feel like, I don't know, it's just a lot harder in second year because there's a bit more pressure on you. So like my first year didn't even count. Like the grades that I got in the first year and the marks that I got in the first year didn't even count. Like, oh shit, I've got to really knuckle down and stuff. Next thing I'm going to be taking is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I bought this in such a pale shade. So it's really good for like highlighting my eyes. 
but I feel like the applicator it causes you to put so much on your face and then I have to blend out just loads and I feel like I look like I've just stuck like a highlighter or like well not even highlighter but like I've just put like an obviously lighter shade of foundation on my face but in that blog post I basically just talk about how I feel like there's a lot of pressure in second year to do really well and yeah I just feel like it you definitely get dunked into second year a lot like harder than you do in first year I feel like first year is like the groundwork is like setting you off to to kind of the rest of the years and stuff like for second and third year but they really like amp it up they don't really do much with you like I'm in two days a week at the moment because they've split our class because it's so big but I just feel like I don't know I just have no motivation I just don't have any inspiration I don't have any motivation I just don't have anything to be fair at the moment like I just I'm just not really feeling it so I'm trying to trying to do stuff on my blog and do stuff on here just to try to keep me going yeah and we've also been set the task to do a like four or five months documentary project and I have no clue what to do I'm kind of like stressing about that just because I don't really I've got to the point now where I don't really understand what I'm doing. I've got to the point where I just really do not know what I'm doing. I don't have any inspiration, anything that I do decide to do and I bring it up. They, I feel like they don't really understand it or they don't really think it's a good idea. I don't know. Oh, I've been blending this out for fucking ages. That's my face done. I'm probably not gonna set it just because my face is relatively dry at the moment so i'm probably not going to put much powder on my face just because i don't want to dry it out even more so i think next i might move on to brows don't know where my brow stuff has gone so i use the ColourPop um brow color in the shade blondie i'm just again trying to use this up i'm not like a huge fan of it but i've got hardly any of it left anyway so I'm not that bothered but I just use that with one of the real techniques um brow brushes and then a I just do it with a brush out my brows with a little spoolie but is any of you guys at university do you feel like the same way or anything because I feel I feel like this must be like a normal thing to happen like I'm just not really feeling it I just don't feel like I have any inspiration I just don't think I was just not enjoying it like the other day I got an email because basically for my documentary project I want to do a story on like foxes and the foxes in London in particular because I know there's a rise I don't know if I'm gonna be able to talk and do a rise at the same time I know there's a rise in the fox population in London there's a lot of like controversy about whether or not they should be like neutered or killed and stuff just to like downsize the population and stuff so i messaged this organization about that do like animal like with fox in particular like welfare and stuff they go around and do look after animals they pick up injured foxes they just they do a, a lot and it's a really really great organization but i just don't know and they emailed me and said they were happy for me to come like I would be hap I would happy to go and do it but I just feel like other people in my class have such better ideas I feel like it's a, just a bit of a cop out if I go round and just photograph a few foxes like I just don't really think it's going to get me a good mark and that's the thing that worries me the most is I'm thinking too much about marks I don't want to produce something that's not going to get me marks but then I also don't want to produce something that's shit if you know what I mean I don't want to just do it for the grades I want to actually enjoy it and do something and I'm really passionate about like animals and stuff and I'm really passionate about doing and like foxes and stuff and animal welfare and everything but I just feel like they're not gonna understand it they're not going to really understand where I'm coming from like the other day I told my teacher well like lecturer um about the idea and he just didn't really understand he said it's been done so many times before 
and basically just shot me down and basically said just think of something else but I don't really want to think of something else I want to stick to my guns and do what I want but at the same time I don't know it's a dilemma I'm rambling now about stuff but I just I just don't want to cop out for the grades basically I want to actually do something that I'm gonna enjoy so yeah but that's my brows are on I never know whether or not this art this color because obviously I've got a, like more like gingery red toned hair now so I feel like these look really really cool toned but yeah so next I'm just gonna do like my eye makeup I'm contemplating using two different palettes so I've got the Sophie X palette which I haven't really dived into yet um, this was so hard to get hold of because it was sold out everywhere or I'm contemplating using the Kat Von D um, what the fuck is it called Satan and Sinner palette again which is I still haven't really dived into um, oh I don't know which ones I don't know which one to use I don't even know what look I'm going for today because I'm not really going out doing anything special I might go and do some blog pictures but that's it so do I use this I wouldn't even know where to bloody start with it to be fair um or do I go for the other one more ready tones these sorts of tones mm. oh I don't know okay right I think I'm gonna go for the Kat Von D palette just because I really want to have a good go at trying it out and seeing what it's like oh shit oh well that's not good so i just lifted i just tried to lift up and basically the paper has just come away from the front oh, i'm not sure if you can see that it's just literally just come away from me trying to pull it open oh for fuck's sake well that's annoying but that's just me not concentrating so yeah so that's my own fault but university's not going that great at the moment and I feel like there's a lot of pressure as well with like me and my boyfriend like we we're really competitive as well so I feel like I want to kind of do well and get a good grade and make him proud and stuff right, I'm just gonna pull you a bit closer just so you can see what's going on with my eyelids um so yeah but <sighs> anyway let's do makeup to calm me and de-stress so I'm just gonna be taking actually I need eye primer first that would be a good idea so I'm going to take the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer potion in Eden. This has lasted me so, so long. But let me know in the comments down below whether you're feeling the same, if you're at university or you have any advice because at the moment I'm just trying to power through it. I've got an essay due next Friday that I'm probably about a quarter of the way through and I just... I just feel really blank about it like I just feel really like I don't understand what I'm writing I don't understand whether I'm doing it correctly I just feel really stupid in that sense I just I don't really know anyway I'm gonna be taking the shade Amen here I'm gonna be taking that shade and just putting it all over the lid I should probably be doing this in a mirror Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that by putting this all over the lid as a base colour. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to somehow make myself look somewhat presentable. I see beauty bloggers do this all the time and I don't understand how they can get all the good camera angles without just ending up over here. But yeah, but I'm also questioning whether uni is right for me. Like, I don't want to quit, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Like, I don't want to quit. I mean, because I've invested so much money in this already and I want to come out with a degree and stuff. But at the moment, it's not really going as I planned. So next shade I'm going to be going in with is this shade right here, which is called Martyr. It's almost this like mustardy brown color. But I'm actually going to just take this on the outer part of my eye. You can see that on camera. My boyfriend's borrowing my camera today for for an interview so i'm on the on the vlogging camera which i actually use quite a lot um to film just because it has really good like well has monitor monitor uh, i can't say that word monitor 
moderately, that's the word, moderately good um, autofocus. Whilst my other one, my Nikon just is just not good for video. I mean, I filmed that, um, that autumn look, the first one on that Nikon and it, it turned out all right. But for this sort of video, it just doesn't. It's good for like manual focusing and stuff. But other than that, it's not really that great. I don't know why I've done my eye makeup after my base this time. I usually do that afterwards. I usually do that. I usually do my eye makeup before and then do the other stuff afterwards. I think that's moderately blended out. My camera just does not want to focus today. It's really annoying. Yeah, right. So the next colour I'm going to be taking is the shade Devil, which is this one. It's this really, really bright orange. I'm just using the same brush because to be fair, I'm not really that well equipped in the brush department. I mean, I bought a pair, I bought this set. It was in a haul quite a while ago actually. I bought this set of unicorn brushes and I thought they were gonna be absolutely amazing, but I think they were just more of a gimmick than anything. I think they were just a bit, but I'm just, again, taking that over the top of that color that I just put down, um, but more defining it in the corner. I really, really like this shade actually. I always love Kat Von D's eyeshadows just because they're really pigmented and they're really easy to blend out. I've got the Metal Matte palette um, that's just sitting in my drawer and I've not used it in ages. And I was contemplating selling it, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it just because it was limited edition and stuff. But who else is super excited for the Metal Crush palette, the highlighting palette? That I keep seeing on her Instagram. I am so excited for that. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. Even though I've got the Alchemist palette and I don't really reach for it, I'm still a sucker for it. And also the 10% Black Friday discount on Debenhams at the moment is just its killing me. It's tempting me so much, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not. I'm going to withhold myself and save my money. So that's what we've got at the moment. Very autumnal and yeah, so I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and just blend out those edges a little bit. I am at the moment I've been really craving a tattoo. I emailed someone the other day about actually not the other day. I think it was like a couple of months ago actually about getting some peonies done on my shoulder, um, just on my shoulder and. They said they were fully booked and stuff and they're traveling over from Paris, but they literally were like perfect. They would have been absolutely perfect for what I wanted. So that was a shame. But then I saw that the other day she put up that she had some, some cancellations, but I didn't have the money for it, which is such a shame, but I'll have to wait. I mean, if it's not the right time, it's not the right time. So yeah. So that is that done. I am not sure where I'm gonna go with this next. I might just take that devil and martyr color and just put it underneath my eye. I'm just gonna, all the brushes I'm using are just the Zoeva um, Lux brushes. I just got them in a set like ages and ages ago. But I'm just gonna be taking devil and martyr. I'm just gonna mix the two and then put them underneath my eye. But I've been contemplating getting some peonies on my shoulder for a while now. I just really, really like how it looks. And also, I am just, I think peonies are so beautiful. They just look so gorgeous. So I really, really want to get some on my shoulder. I just need more tattoos in general. I've been craving a tattoo for absolutely ages. But it's just saving up the funds to get it, especially on like a student budget and stuff. It's not really something that you can justify, especially when you need to buy like books and like food and stuff. It's not really something you can justify. By the way, have you any of you noticed my new piercing? So after I did that like crazy factory haul, um, I kind of went a bit overboard and bought, and like I bought loads of like piercing needles, but I've pierced my second cartilage here. And then I also pierced my, is it called my, the conch? 
I pierced that as well. Um, but I really like that this one being a bugger to fucking heal, which is really odd because this first one that I got done wasn't actually that bad, but this one's just not very, but this one I've just kind of left and it's just, it's perfectly fine. Like, I don't understand. But I really need to change the piercing, the actual earring on this one because it's not, it's not really great. I want to just get a silver ball, like librette bar and stuff because I think that might make it easier to heal. But I changed this one um the other day and it's healed a lot better it's healing a lot quicker so that's the under eyes of my eyes done i'm not really sure what to go in with i'm not sure whether i want to go in straight away with this gold color or i'm not sure how pigmented is that oh my god okay that's extremely gold um i might actually just deepen up my eyes slightly I might go in with the shade, I might go in with the shade Crucifix here. It's this really dark, deep color. I might just go in with that. So just to deepen up the outsides of my eyes a little bit. Yeah, only a tad though. Uh, uh, looking for new places. So we still got ages left on this lease that we are in at the moment, but we just really want to move out of this almost. Because the place we live in is basically um, private student accommodation, but we managed to get a dual occupancy tenancy agreement so we could both live together in this place. But it's just so cramped. Like literally to the right of me is the bathroom and then to the left of me is like the tiniest kitchen in the world. Like it's just tiny and it's just it's so annoying not being able to have the space because we really want to just do stuff and we can't really we want to put up artwork but we can't and it's just we just don't feel comfortable if you know what i mean we just don't feel comfortable with like what we're doing where we are and stuff and i think that doesn't really help especially like with our studies and stuff the mirror is reflecting the light but it doesn't really just help with like our studies and stuff and yeah so i think we're thinking of getting like just like a one bedroom or like two bedroom flat or something two bedroom would be ideal because then we could have a office space and a study space but i'm not sure it depends how it turns out and how much money we have and stuff because we don't really necessarily want to be paying too much more than we are now but yeah so i think i've blended this out for as long as i possibly fucking could sat in such an uncomfortable position so yeah i might take a, just a tiny tiny bit of that gold and put it on the in inner corner of my eye um i'm just gonna take a lux pencil brush and just dip into that gold i'm not sure how this is gonna go I might look insane oh my god oh my god this is so pigmented make too big of a deal of this like moving and stuff because i know that as much as like i'm not content here i don't feel comfortable living in this building just because of how we've had kind of like bad experiences with the people that run the building and stuff like they messed up our tenancy agreement it was just a whole thing so i really really want to move out but i know that my boyfriend's just he knows that the prices as soon as we leave this building is just going to skyrocket. Um, and here we can get a really, really good rate and stuff because we're students and we've got everything here that we need. But I just know that I'm just not comfortable here and I don't want that to affect my studies. And I don't want that to, I don't, but then I don't want to move into another place and it affects his studies, if you know what I mean. But we'll just have to see because we've both been finding some really nice places that we both actually really like. So we'll just see. This gold is absolutely insane. Like, I'm not sure if it's going to come up on camera. But look at that. Oh, how amazing is this? That is just amazing. I absolutely love this. So glad I used this palette now. Because at first I was really scared of this palette just because of the mishmash of colours. But I'm so glad I did now. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. I don't even know how long I've been filming for. I've been rambling for so long. I feel like this is going to be such a long video. I hope everyone got a, like a cup of coffee or something because 
I think my mind's gone cold now. I haven't even been concentrating on getting my drinking my coffee, so it's probably gone cold. But that is the goal. I might just put a tiny, tiny, tiny bit underneath my eyes as well. I always have the contemplation though afterwards whether or not I should actually do eyeliner because I know sometimes that can be a bit like bold and stuff but I'm not sure. I think they're pretty even. I wouldn't even want to know what this colour is like if you just like wetted it and used it as like a foil or something. I feel like that would be just incredible. But yeah, I might just dip straight back into that Amen colour again. Um, and then just try and again blend out some of the edges a little bit at the top because I feel like they're looking a bit harsh at the moment because I don't want it to be a really like harsh line like it's coming up on the camera it looks really patchy but I swear in real life it's not it's just my camera so I think I'm done with the palette now I really want to try and dive into more of these like blue and green colors one day um, I feel like that would be really interesting to try and work with and stuff. I almost dropped my mirror then. That would not have been good. So I might zoom you out. That's in. I might zoom you out a little bit now. Because that looks a bit better. I think that's less intrusive now. So I'm probably just going to start contouring the face now. So I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And use her, the Shade and Light brush as well i really really like this palette i really need to get a new one i'm still not 100 sure whether this is actually a fake a fake one because i bought this i bought this so long ago i bought this before it even came out in the uk i bought this like off some like probably some dodgy seller on depop or something and they said it was real but you know when you kind of like you know like some of the colours, I'm not sure if it's just this age or whatnot, but the just the colours are a bit I wouldn't say up to as much like quality as I thought that like Cat Von D would. So I'm not really sure. It could be real. I mean it has a code on it on the back, but I'm not really sure. I might get the new one when it comes out, which has the pans in it, just because I feel like that might be a bit better for me just because I don't really use many of the shades in it so yeah done that um I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit more just because I feel like because I obviously haven't put any powder on it does look quite harsh so I need to invest in a cruelty free vegan blush so if anyone's got any recommendations then do let me know um but I'm just gonna go in with the Sophie X highlight highlighting palette I'm just gonna take these these two shades right here i really like this palette it's a funny story about this palette actually so i went into the store and i tried to pick this up and they were completely sold out but they had this one left and i thought oh, it's perfect thank god they had one left and everything but they didn't have the palette so i had to order that online and i got to the till and i left the shop and i probably should have necessary i probably should have gone back to be fair but i went up and i and it came up as like a penny I didn't realise until a few days later if it's not going to focus the, actually the tester I know a lot of people will find that absolutely disgusting but I didn't notice I already had used it a few times before um, and it wasn't really that used so I would have noticed in the store if it was like extremely used but I did sanitise it and stuff um, so I think I think I got away with it to be fair but I managed to get it for a penny. So we're just highlighting a little bit on the nose and down the bridge of the nose. I need to look dewy and lovely. I'm also gonna actually go back in and dip into that second color a little bit with my eyeshadow brush and just take that a little bit on my brow bone just to highlight a little bit. I haven't even thought about what lip I'm gonna do yet with this, with this look. But I feel like this video has just been me being rambly and just messy. I think I've been filming for probably about 40 minutes. And it never takes me this long to do my makeup. So, yeah. I realised I didn't actually set my brows. But I'm going to go in with this Models Co. More Brows. Again, this is absolutely donkey's old. And I need to get a new one of these. I always find it funny when you watch these sorts of videos. And it's just the, you know, the faces that people pull. 
because we all have them we all do them now do i do eyeliner does the look need eyeliner slightly though because i always find because i've got such like light lashes i really have to like i have to almost color them in because sometimes i don't get down deep enough with my mascara that'll do right so i'm not going to do eyeliner but i will just put some mascara on i use the lush eyes right mascara i'm not sure how i feel about this as of yet it does like a nice mascara and stuff but it does stay wet for absolutely ages so you really have to be careful not to get it on your face but it really lengthens but i feel like you have to put so many coats on but for a good like quality like cruelty free vegan mascara is good i really want to try the the barry m one apparently that one's supposed to be good i'm not sure if it's the lengthening or the volumizing one one is apparently supposed to be a lot better than the other one i've really been tempted by the um makeup revolution christmas calendar that, but it's like i think it's on sale at the moment it's like 60 pounds but it's reduced from like 120 and i'm a sucker for for sales and stuff like i can't believe how many things have been put up at the moment for black friday like i know asos have even stopped their black friday thing now it's just like it's not even black friday like and you've already started and finished the sale like what is going on so yeah so that's my eyes done oh very glittery and very sparkly um i might just i need to wait for that to dry first um, and then I'm gonna go in with the body shop makeup setting spray I really don't like this but I'm just trying to get this through I feel like it actually makes my foundation wear quicker if that makes any sense but I'm only popping out quickly today um, and then so this will be fine but I'm just trying to get used to it so waste not want not I don't know what uh, lipstick to do I put all of this really neatly together but it's actually covering especially covering the lipsticks i'm not sure whether because the eyes is like the main focal point of this i'm not sure if i want to go for like nude or i really want to pick up the kat von d plath lipstick i should probably do that one whilst debenhams is on sale i'm just trying to convince myself at the moment to buy stuff that i, that I don't need um what shade is this okay that's lovely that was too pink um there's bow and arrow but i feel like that's really on the cool tone and it really wipes me out i don't know what lip color to do i either go really really vampy with it or, or but then i'll be drinking coffee later and i don't want to end up with it all around my mouth because i find that as soon as i stick dark lipstick on it just ends up all around my mouth okay i need to start using these a bit more which is the give me glow lipsticks collection okay one is missing so that's weird but i think i might go in with hocus pocus i think that might that might work just because i mean i'm not really doing much today and so i'm not going to need that much of like a fancy lippy or anything this is like a nude i think that doesn't look too bad again it's i i think the lipstick was a lot darker than i thought and it does definitely wash me out but i like it you know all terminal all that sort of jazz but i think i just dropped everything but i'm just gonna set my face with my favorite setting spray i'm pray to god that nothing ended up on my face well that is a first that is a first i always find when i put setting spray on my face it looks really hairy it just clings to all of my hairs but it also makes my face feel so wet which just doesn't feel right but and can we just appreciate the jumper that i'm wearing it's from monkey and it took like i've been seeing it everywhere and then as soon as i go to buy it it's completely sold out so i've just managed to get my hands on it and i absolutely love it it's so cozy it feels like someone's just knitted a blanket around me but it is huge absolutely huge so i'm just going to now just dry shampoo my hair um 
and sort this absolute mess out and then I'm probably going to maybe curl it I'm not set on it yet I mean it's partially curled anyway but I might just put a few waves through it just to kind of take the mess away from it but I'm just gonna go and do that off camera